So good morning everyone. It's time for Fab Friday. I've preloaded my magnetic palette and I have the colors that I'm going to be working with today loaded in here. So my entire face is in one place. All of the cosmetics I'll be using will be in here, including my foundation. So that's pretty cool. You know that uh, my tagline is to be elegant and organized and beautiful. And good morning to you, Miss Jerry. And good morning to you, Miss Sarah. And so if we are not cluttered and have a bunch of stuff and we're trying to figure out what we're going to do and if we just keep things down to something simple, a nice simple beauty routine, it helps us to get ready faster. Good morning to you, Glow. So let's go ahead and get started with our Fat Friday face. I already went through and just smoothed my hair out using those same tips that I shared with you all last week for the flat iron. And I'm really excited because I'm going with some of my friends tonight to the lake for a kayak trip. And maybe they said something about a meteor shower. I think it's an organized kayaking trip on the lake. So I'm so excited because I love doing outdoor activities. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm already dressed in casual clothes so I can go straight after work and head out to um, meet my friends for this kayaking trip. So I encourage you all to definitely take in fresh air and time with your friends and time with your family. That is an important beauty tip. Now let's get started. I see Alexis J tuning in. How have you enjoyed this month's beauty column in the VIP scene featuring you? Um, I know that photo shoot was a while back, but I just thought it was so stunning and deserved extra time in print. So each month in the VIP scene magazine, I have my own beauty column and I feature a different beauty every month. And Alexis is this month's feature model. Now let's get started here. What are we going to do first? Let's see here. Let's go ahead and work. We'll start with doing a little bit. We'll consider this our priming step. And I already have my face uh, cleansed and moisturized. And we're going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. This is very famous as far as being a concealer. And I'm going to do a little bit just to get my face ready. Good morning, Christy. So I'm just going to dot just a little of this up. I'm going to dot just a little of this under my eyes. And you all know I like to use my little ring fingers. And then just kind of pat this under my eye. So this is going to serve to brighten. And then I'm going to pat it on top of my eyelid, which will give me a bit of priming on top of my eyelid as well. Good morning, Kelly. Now you all know every week on Fab Friday, I have a prize giveaway. And today's drawing, we've got one more of the Dean Bano books, Dean's Book of Daddy Do's. He sent me three, we've sent out two so far, and today will be the third one, and it is a fabulous coloring book slash how-to book on how to style little girl's hair, and it is absolutely precious. And, excuse me, I've got one more left, so this will be today's prize giveaway. So everyone that shares this video, likes the video, or makes a comment will be entered into the prize for Dean's Book of Daddy Do's. So thank you for Dean for participating with Fab Friday. Dean is the Hollywood hair guy, and you can see his work on TV every week. He is fabulous, and he sent those prizes just for you all, so that's awesome. In addition to that, next Friday, and I put a post out about that this morning. Next Friday, I'm going to have the big prize giveaway for everyone that has subscribed to my blog. Now you can subscribe to my website blog on my website, sherryjessie.com. 
scroll down, there's a button there that says subscribe. And all the people that will be on that email list will be entered into a drawing for a $100 shopping spree in the website store. What I just did, you used a little bit of the KKW powder. You all know I love this little sponge on the end of this brush. And I just lightly dip it into the powder and I'm setting or locking in my shape tape. So I just lightly dip that in there and you can see it just gets a little bit of powder and then I lightly dab that underneath my eye. And um, that helps to set everything in. So where we did that little bit of priming and under eye cover, we'll go in and I just like to use the tiniest bit of powder and barely touch it in and then barely touch it on and it just gives a really natural finish. So we'll keep that out because I'm next going to work with my foundation and then we'll work with our eyes. You know, usually I start with eyes first, then I do foundation, but lately I've been wanting to switch it up. So makeup as we know is fun. It's art and there are no strict rules because it should be fun. It's art. So this is what we're doing today. Now inside of my compact, I have this right here. Now while supplies last, I have these and this is a like a color that just works so well with just about every skin tone um, if you're like fair to medium. But this is a cream foundation and it fits nicely into the compact. And I'm using this little kind of like, I guess you would almost like call it a kabuki brush. This is by It Cosmetics and it's great for foundation just nice firm bristles. So I'm going to swirl that in here, all right, and pick up some color, and then kind of just dab this on to my face. So what we're doing, you guys know I have that redness there, so I'm smoothing out that redness, and I'm gonna put over top my lips, on my nose, and I always start with my foundation kind of here in the center of my face. And then as I go, just brushing out. And if you all ever do any painting, you know if you keep brushing, you eventually get a dry brush. And that helps to feather out the edges. And then you don't see a line from where you stop and start. So we're going to work in here with our blush. And here it is, and this is that blush by Mary Kay, and it's called Shy Blush. And it's kind of just like what it says. It just gives you a little shy hint of blush. It's not really bold, and it, you really don't even have to worry about hardly overdoing it because the color is just a little bit of a peachy pink with a golden glow, and it just gives a pretty look to your skin. Now, you know, I mentioned I'm going on that uh, kayaking trip tonight, so I don't need to have like a crazy lot of makeup on, but you know, I don't get my mail without getting my makeup on. So even if we're doing out an outdoor activity, I still want my makeup. Now, I worked with this and kind of followed the contour of my cheeks because that angles up like that. Sometimes you can then take the same brush and use this tip right here for the highlighter. I like to do that. So see, so I've switched it around. First the blush like this, and then I'm gonna do the highlighter like this. And this, we know I used this last week. This is my Wet n Wild highlighter, and I broke it out of the compact it came in and put it in my Sherry's Magnetic Palette. So that way I can have my entire face in one place, everything that I wanted, right here at my fingertips. So we'll just go through, dust a little, what about that, right up on that Cupid's bow, on that, that is, they're gonna be able to see this highlighter up to the heavens. <laughs> I love that. Alrighty, so we've got the skin ready to go. Now, I think I wanna work on my lips. This has been my favorite color. How many of you guys have gone out and bought one of these? Give me a little heart bubble if you have. Let me know what you think. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. 
my opinion, the best liquid lip. It goes on, it stays on, you can hardly get it off. I literally have to use my uh, Mary Kay um, oil-free makeup remover to get it off. It will not come off with soap and water. So, we're going to go start here. I like to start at the top. And then bring the color down. This color is number 65. Yep, number 65. And it is a nice neutral. It kind of almost looks like your lips. Not too pink not too orange, it's a really good neutral. So I'm going to use this and cover my whole lip from the top to the bottom. Now the makeup look we're doing today is fast and easy. And it's going to be a little more, <laughs> I always say it's on the naturals, natural look and it never is. But that's the end result, I'm going to try for it. And maybe by doing foundation and lips and blush first, I will be inspired by going really light on the eyes. I think sometimes if you do your eyes first, you can go lighter on your foundation, although I don't have a lot of product on. But there we go, we've got foundation, little bit of prime, a little bit of powder, some blush and the highlight, and our matte ink lip in number 65. Very nice. We're going to let that dry and I'm going to set that with a little bit of the blush. Now let's see about our eyes. This is a look I wore yesterday to work and I did get some compliments on it. Let's see here, let's go in with this little fluffy brush. This works well for a crease. It's really the fluffier the brush, the easier the blending. So I'm going to dab this into this kind of warm color. I think it's called hazelnut. And we're gonna go back and forth. Now remember, you just go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. Okay, and I like to go in and dab my blush just a little bit and go up above that. So we're using the blush as a blending color. So this will be our uh, transition shade and our blending shade. So that gives just a little depth to the eyes. Let's do this. Let's go in with a little bit of my Sherry's. Lux Cream Liner. Good morning, Lydia. Now don't forget, everyone who shares this video, likes the video, or makes a comment will be entered into this week's drawing, which is Dean's Book of Daddy Do's. Then everyone who subscribes to my email list on my website will be entered into the $100 prize shopping spree in my website store. The drawing for that will be next Friday. I believe that's the 17th of August. So go to my website, sherryjessie.com, and subscribe so that you get entered into the giveaway for a $100 shopping spree. Who wouldn't want a $100 shopping spree? And on my website store, I have a combination of hair products, makeup tools, and makeup. In addition, you can spend a little time on my website and view my portfolio and some press. There's a blog there you can read. Okay. I better work to the other eye because this 
cat eye is going to be in my hairline if I don't stop. So I lightly touch into this. I have a little tiny brush and I'm going to go from the corner of my eye out and then bring it back in like a triangle. And then going all the way to the inside corner with what's left on my brush so that line is not quite as bold. So it starts out more bold and then goes smaller. And then with little tiny brush strokes, I will fill in that corner. How are we looking? Pretty good. Just working with this tiny little brush to get little tiny strokes. Hmm. This brush I've had for a long time. You know, that's the thing with makeup. If you take care of your stuff, your brushes, they last forever. It's one thing about selling makeup is that when people buy things, it lasts forever. They don't have to buy it again. So there's not a lot of repeat purchases because eyeshadows last forever. Your makeup palettes last forever. It's amazing how long things last. I know girls that I gave makeup lessons to two or three or four years ago, they're like, I'm still using some of this stuff I got from you. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I love that. Yes, Miss Barbara, I will be in the salon today working. Thank you, Sherry, I appreciate that. Now, how's that, that looking? You need, to, you know, when you're doing your cat eye, oh gosh, it's not hard to get it ruined in no time. So that's why it's good to do just little strokes and then kind of compare one side to the other to, oh gosh, to see if we're getting it even. And you all know, you can go from one side to the other and before you know, <laughs> what started off being natural becomes quite bold. But I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. And the thing I like about a cat eye is that it brings your eyes kind of up and out. Now we know if we do that line up too far, it gets into where the eyelid kind of comes down. So that's why it's almost better to start here at the eye and go straight out. Start at the corner of the eye, go straight out, and then fill in that triangle at the top. Because if you go too far upwards, you'll get into the hooding. Thank you, Miss Ampa. So good to see you. Ampa was our guide when we went to Cuba. That was not last spring, but the spring before. Is that right? Has that been two years ago? That was an amazing trip. Amazing. So thankful for that opportunity that I went to Cuba and did makeup on 18 models, I think it was, for a photo shoot for Intercoiffure. And Ampa was the funnest, sweetest, and most amazing guide. Love you to pieces, girl. Now let's see, there is that. Now I have laid out my Playtime is Over mascara from Macy and Mia, and you know this has definitely been a summertime favorite for me. Uh, this is waterproof. Let's hope that I'm not going to need a waterproof mascara for my kayaking trip tonight. I hope to not get wet or fall into the lake. <laughs> Alrighty, this mascara is bomb. You does barely have to use any and it lengthens and thickens your lashes. It works so well. How many of you guys have gone to Macy and Mia website and bought your own Playtime is Over mascara? If you go to MacyandMia.com and you uh, check out, if you enter Sherry10, you'll get 10% off of your order. So that's awesome. So if you don't have good lashes, by all means, do a strip lash. Do what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you feel, you feel happy about your makeup. Makeup is art and there are really no rules. And what I share with you on Fab Friday is what I'm doing for the day. And each day I change up my routine. I like to have fun with it. Now this is a little flat brush 
and this is really good for going underneath the eye. So rather than having a harsh line under the eye, I'm going to dip into this. Here we go. This is a beautiful purple. And I'm just get a little bit and then go up underneath the eye and smudge that at the lash line, okay? So what that does is gives us a nice bit of color, helps to define under the eye, but because it's a color, I love using color. I'm sorry, I just do. I think in my mind, I'm gonna do all neutrals, and I'm like, how boring is that? Let's add some color. Love color! So by adding this little bit of purple, it really brings out my eye color. And you can see that helps to define the under eye without being a heavy under eye line, okay? So you probably don't, in today's makeup looks, want to go under your eye with a hard pencil. But what I would recommend is to take a flat brush and dip into one of your shadow colors and go up close to your lash line and do that for your under eye. Then you can, I'm going back in with a little bit of that pink and just blending the under edge of that. So I don't want a harsh line under my eye. I want that to be soft and blended. How are you liking that? Thank you, Sarah, I appreciate that. So there we go, we've got the cat eye. And let's dip in this little ring finger and dip into my shy blush. I do have this for sale on my website, sherryjessie.com. Love, love, love this color. And it works so well as a lipstick topper because what it helps to do is that powder of the shadow helps to block in that color for all day long lasting color because anytime we put something creamy down and we set it with a powder, it makes it last longer. So that's awesome. Now let's see here. Are we liking that? Liking that look? I think I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit edgier. Let's go in with this brush. Now this is kind of like a fluffy brush, but I like how it kind of comes to more of a crease point. And this will work well in our crease line. So going in with that same purple, get a little bit of color, and then flip my brush upwards, and right at the top of my crease, go back and forth, okay? So that gives us just a little bit more pigment, just a little bit more. A little bit of purple, flip the brush upwards, go back and forth, add that crease, or right there at the curvature of my eye, and that gives us a little bit of purple. Now, all of these colors I sell on my website store. And if I don't have a color that you need specifically, I can always order it. Um, but I do have some purples, and this is a really pretty purple shade. And the good thing about them is you just pop it into your compact, and then you can change up the colors that you have and that you're working with as you go. So what do you guys think of that look? How long did that take us? Mm, about 30, 40 minutes. I like to talk as I go and I really appreciate you all joining me each week for Fab Friday. And this is our final look for Friday. I will be doing that prize giveaway uh, today, this afternoon. Everyone who likes, shares, and comments on today's video. And by all means, please share it with your friends. I appreciate that. And we can really get the good news out that makeup is fun. Don't be afraid of makeup. And always remember, your best accessory is what? You guys know? It's a smile. So don't forget to smile. Subscribe to my website, sherryjessie.com. Let me know what you'd like to see for next week on Fab Friday. And don't forget to wear your smile. I'll see you for the drawing a little later on today. Awesome. Thank you, guys.